Good day, my name is Alex Aaron. I'm on the technical sales team here for Seek Alarm. Today we're introducing the Bluetooth access controllers. There's currently three products that we have. A proximity reader, single gang, a single gang keypad, and a Mullion style keypad with built-in prox reader. The devices are you know, form C relay output on the back side. The voltage is nine to 25 volts DC. They can handle a thousand users, a thousand events. They're weatherproof IP65. Temperature ranges from minus four to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The prox reader uses an EM125 card, which is a generic proximity card. The installation for these is simple. It's a basic form C relay output, dry contact. So you can use this with mag locks, door strikes, or tie it into an access control system. For more information, you refer to our website, www.seco-alarm.com, and go to the uh, Bluetooth landing page. These are all app-based, so the app is available for both the Android and the iPhones. Go to the appropriate store, select, look for SL Access, that will get you the app. Download the app, there is no fee, it's ad free and it will work with any of our Bluetooth products. Once you have it downloaded, click the icon to start it. At that point, you'll be on the main screen. On the main screen, it's to, you know, in the upper left hand corner is login. The login is admin, all uppercase, and the default admin password is 12345. So once you're logged in, here, I will log. The passcodes are all numeric. The uh, username and codes like that are alphanumeric. That indicates a successful login. In the upper right hand corner is the settings. This is where you would manage to add and delete users, and handle the audit trail, and back up the settings and restore settings. There's also additional options here. Like the device name, we default it to the model number of the device. Currently it's SK-B241-PQ. You can name it to front door, you know, back door, something that is meaningful so it's easy to manage multiple devices. Uh, there's a bunch of different settings all the way through. Once you're done with the settings, you can then you know, add a user. So settings, add user. Like I said, it's up to a thousand users. The IDs are alphanumeric with special characters, so you can actually, instead of having a user ID of 001, you can have somebody's name or something that's more meaningful. Once you get that in, there's additional options for what type of access they have. So they can you know, have access using the app, you know, prox card or uh, keypad pin code. You can also set the output type, you can set it for scheduled, um, uh, visitor code, so if you want to have somebody being able to come in, you know, every Thursday between 8 and 9 in the morning, you can set a schedule block so the, their code is only available during that period of time. You know, deleting users is simple, just go in and click the delete button, that would delete the user. The audit trail is a thousand events, you can export both the user user list and the audit trail and it downloads to a CSV file which you can then email to your PC and use the PC to edit and do what if analysis on the audit trail or add additional users in and then you can copy it back to your phone and then upload it to the various devices. This is handy so if you've got 10 keypads in a location you can you know restore the same settings so that all 10 of the keypads have the same settings and also the same user list. That is the rough outline of the devices. If you have any additional questions, go to our website www.seco-alarm.com and download the manual and have any questions answered from there. Thank you.